Good morning. I'm going to read you a story this morning, and I want you to listen very closely because I'm going to ask you some questions after I get through with it, okay? All right. A man owned a dog named Atissi. Atissi. Now, he loved this dog very much. He fed Itissi well and trained him to be obedient. However, Itissi became restless and longed for total freedom instead of obedience. He didn't want anyone to tell him what to do. Now, the master recognized that temptation could have tied his dog to a tree. He could have tied his dog to a tree. But who wants a dog chained like, chained like a criminal? That's no fun for the dog. Neither is it a joy if the owner, for the owner if he can't trust his own dog. Therefore, he decided to let Itissi make the choice. The dog was not locked up, but was given freedom in the backyard. Only when they walked in the neighborhood was a leash used. Sure enough, one day Itissi decided to escape by jumping the fence. Now, he never noticed that his collar caught on the fence and tore off. His master name, master's name was no longer around his neck. Itissi roamed the alleys and the streets, confident that his new life was better than his past. He didn't worry about the damage he cost Mrs. Smith's garden. Uh, so what if he tore up bags of garbage? Who cared if he scattered trash and seeking food from Mr. Jones's garbage cans? Itissi thought it funny how angry the neighborhood mothers became when he pulled the laundry from the clotheslines. He enjoyed his freedom. He had learned and, and, and learned things from his new friends in the dog pack. Now, he didn't have to obey anyone. He could do anything he wanted. In those days, Itissi did not realize that his once sleek fur was becoming shabby. He had changed. With no owner to discipline him or love him, Itissi was a different dog. One day, Itissi needed the leash that wasn't there anymore. He had played too rough with some of the mean children, and before he knew what happened, he bit a boy. Angry neighbors cornered him, and soon the dog catcher came to the pound and took him to the pound where he awaited death. Itissi had broken all the rules. Now he had to pay for his sins. His only hope was his, the master he had fled. But he couldn't escape to run home and plead for help, and he couldn't even tell the dog catcher his master's name. If only he still had his collar on, which was written in his master's name. How proud he would be to wear it again. Now it seemed too late. Tomorrow he must die. If only his master could find and rescue him. The end was near. Then he heard the wonderful sound of familiar footsteps. It was indeed his master. The man was very sad as he looked down at this beloved dog. He hardly recognized this thin, dirty dog. Would he be willing to pay a big price to redeem Itissi? He was. Now it was Itissi's turn to decide. The dog catcher explained the plan. Itissi must accept the leash and obey his master. If not, he must die. And of course, Itissi decided to accept the pardon on those terms. Now, in this story, who does the master represent? God. Who is Itissi? Itissi. It is I. Itissi. It is I. Itissi rebelled against his master so he could go on his own. He didn't want to belong to an owner. Do you ever want to run away so you won't have to obey your parents? The master redeemed his dog. That means he bought him back. When Jesus died on the cross, he paid, he made possible our redemption. He didn't wait until we were, we were perfect. Like the dog's master, Jesus accepted us as we are. Romans 5, 8 says, But God shows his love, shows his love to us in that while we were still yet sinners, Christ died for us. So remember, 
your master. Accept him as your master, and he will accept you as his child. Let's pray. Father, help us to understand how simple and easy it is to be God's children. All we need to do is accept Christ as our Savior, and we are, in fact, saved. Amen.